Welcome back, everyone. Remember that one time when I went to Miss Mary Bobo's? I promise to be back with you to go over the Lynchburg candied apple recipe. And it might have taken me a little bit, but here we are. Okay, so for today, this recipe is super simple. What you need is an apple, some sugar, some alcohol, and no. Nope. Just kidding, this recipe takes a little bit more than that, so let's see what we need. First, have your favorite whiskey on hand. You'll need six cups of sliced apples, half a cup of your favorite sliced butter, and three cups of sugar. Now that everything is together, you're gonna start peeling your apples. Now, this recipe calls for a tart apple. You can do any which kind you want. I selected three different varieties here just to give me some different taste of tart in there and some different texture. You'll also notice that I'm using a serrated edge inside the blade of my peeler there. I love that edge. It makes it much more easier to peel through some of these as we're getting through. And if you're anything like me, I tend to always think that I'm about to slice my finger off every single time that I have to peel something. So I really hate it. But I went and found a peeler that I really enjoy using and that I don't freak out every time I need to use it on an apple or a potato or something else like that. All right, all peeled up, ready to slice them. I like using the 12 slot for the slicer. It gives me some nice sizes here. And here I go, smash down into there. And of course I have to beat it, beat it, beat it, beat it some more to get it down. And then I go ahead and take these chunks out. I clean up the chunks too. Sometimes they have a little bit of edge left in there from the core that you don't wanna eat and nobody else really wants to eat it either. So make sure you clean up your slices as you go. Apples are peeled and sliced and are now ready to be mixed in with our sugar. I did this in batches just to make sure everything was well covered. But what you're gonna want to be careful of is once that sugar is on the apple, don't let it sit too long. You don't want some of that water getting leached out of the apples because you're gonna need that in the baking process. You don't want a dehydrated apple when you're baking it later on, unless you're looking for a pie. We learned that from Alton Brown. But inside this recipe, you're gonna want something that is actually nice and saturated with that whiskey and sugar. Oh, whoa, nom, 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 nom. We are peeled, we are sliced, and we are sugared. Now we're ready to go ahead and put the butter in. So grab those slices, put them on top. Doesn't exactly have to be equal. They're gonna get baked in. You're gonna be able to see it in the oven and stir them around as well but just go ahead and put on that favorite butter of yours. We like Kerrygold in this house. Maybe you might too. Now for the main ingredient, add your whiskey. I'm going with some Tennessee Fire. I like that little bit of cinnamon. Drizzle that on. It calls for half a cup. You might wanna do more. Maybe you might wanna put some more at the very end, but again, be careful with kids are eating this. Throw it into the oven at 375. It says 45 minutes. Truth in lending, we had to go for about an hour just to make sure that all those apples really were good and cooked. And admittedly, we had to let it sit and rest for a bit. And here it is, the final baked Lynchburg candied apples. I would say at the end to let them sit for a little bit. A little bit depends on you, depends on your apples, depends on your whiskey and how much sugar you put in there. But at some point you're gonna see that these apples have finally soaked through and you'll be able to see that sugar kind of sitting on top with them. You'll be able to smell that wondrousness too. Then throw it into a bowl and they're all yours to enjoy. Add something on top or nothing at all. They were absolutely perfect to eat on their own. But you can go back to the Jack Daniels website for Miss Mary Bobo's and they have a wonderful whiskey whipped cream recipe that maybe you want to try. 
Thank you so much for joining me today for this recipe from History Ate Here and our travels to Miss Mary Bobo's in Lynchburg, Tennessee. Of course, I can't leave my episode without saying make sure you subscribe to us. We have more content coming. And then, of course, follow us on social media. Find our Facebook. Get to our Instagram. Check out our TikTok. More stuff available for you there. Nom, 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 nom.